I've been asked why I don't have my own free Facebook group, like a lot of people do who try to grow an audience through Facebook and they create a free group and invite a bunch of their friends to it and hope that their friends will also invite other friends so that they can have an audience to talk to. So I used to have a free Facebook group a couple of years ago. It was called Our Highest Work. That was the name of the group. And I ran it, I think, for about a year or two. Um, but eventually, what happened was it kind of became my blog. I just started posting my content to it on a regular basis. And because I didn't allow other people to post their content to it and their offerings to it, and you might say, well, George, why, are you, why didn't you allow other people to do it? Well, this is actually a normal rule in a Facebook group is when you have a Facebook group, you don't allow other people to just post their content, their blog posts, their videos, their you know, offerings, their products and services to the group because if everyone were allowed to do that, guess what happens? It becomes a dumping ground for you know, promotions, right, basically. So that's why as a group owner, it's wise to say, listen, promotions are not allowed here. <clears throat> Content even is not allowed here unless you are directly addressing the group. Uh, you're you're mentioning something in uh, to, to other group members, really, or if it's part of a thread. Anyway, long story short, I decided to stop my free Facebook group because it had just become basically my blog. And the purpose of a group is to build community rather than promote yourself, right? I mean, if you're going to promote yourself which there's no problem doing online for your business, then why not just create a Facebook business page? Why not just create a Facebook fan page and use Facebook ads? Listen, $30 a month will do you a whole lot of business, a whole lot of good on Facebook ads. It's not that much money. Don't give me the whole line of, well, Facebook ads cost money. Well, $30 a month, do you not have $30 a month to spend on advertisement? You are a business owner. You know, it makes sense to be advertising your business. $30 a month on Facebook ads is the best spend um, for, for advertising that I know of, okay? So, so don't do a group. Just do your Facebook business page and spend $30 a month using ads. You're going to spend your time a lot better. So, so let me just talk you through this, okay? People say they want to start a Facebook group because they have this fantasy that, oh, they'll build a large community and... People will love them and they'll be able to promote their services and their content, right? Okay, let's, let's talk about the reality of it. Number one, when you have a Facebook group, okay, and you post things to your Facebook group, your postings are at the mercy of the Facebook algorithm, okay? I mean, really, have you, have you tried having a group? Do you see what happens? You post stuff there and you find that a lot of group members don't see it. Okay, most Facebook groups are very inactive, like nobody posts on there because the group owner started it really with the ulterior motive of trying to promote their own thing, which I understand. You have a business. You're trying to promote your own thing, which is why start do what is intended on Facebook, which is a Facebook business page, a fan page. That's how you're supposed to promote your things. Purity. In marketing, purity and in marketing intentions is what I what I try to cultivate within myself and what I try to preach. Right, um, a Facebook group is really meant for friends and family to like share photos and talk about what's going on within the family or within a friend, a group of friends, or within a particular cause. You know, you have a you have a, a a particular hobby or a cause, and you don't care about making money. You don't care about necessarily your message getting out there. You just want to like try to build some some kindred spirits and kind of talk about something. That's fine. You can use a group for that. But really, if you're, even if you have a cause or a hobby and you don't care about money or marketing at all, I would recommend that you just have a Facebook profile. Just use your own profile to post about your things publicly and then people will share your things. I mean, just keep it simple, people. Forget Facebook groups. Seriously, seriously, forget a Facebook group, okay? Use a Facebook business page. Your time will be better spent. Let me keep, let me talk you through this. So number one, you can't reliably reach your members in a Facebook group. Tell me how. Tell me how you can reliably reach your member, members. Now there's a, such a thing as a Facebook announcements in, in a group, but still that doesn't reliably reach your members. And if you're using your Facebook announcements to promote your services and your content, 
it's disingenuous, right? An announcement in a group, I mean, if your group was marketed, the purpose of it is to build community, and then you're using your announcements to promote your stuff, it's disingenuous. I wouldn't want to be part of that group. It would be like, well, George is just promoting his own thing here. It's not really a community, right? It's just George's fan page. Why doesn't he just create a fan page? Yes, I recommend that because you can more reliably reach your fans through Facebook ads, okay? So number one, in a group, you can't reliably reach your fans. Number two, do you have the time and the energy to moderate an active group? So first of all, let's get clear on this. If your group isn't active, which is most Facebook groups, your postings aren't going anywhere. People aren't seeing it anyway, okay? It's kind of like shouting into a black hole, okay? So if your group isn't active, what's the point? And you can't even spend advertising dollars to reach your group members. So what is the point? Please tell me what's the point, okay? Number two is if you have an active group, then good luck. How are you going to have the time and energy to, man to manage it? Do, do you, do you, have you seen active Facebook groups? The managers and owners are always trying to say, no, please don't market here. Please don't promote here. It, 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 it kind of gets tiring, right? You keep hearing the group owner like, be super like, you know, <laughs> right? Uh, it seems seemingly, um, yeah, seemingly really strict about no, no promotions. Well, as a group owner, you will understand why they're so, they're so strict about promotions. Because if they allowed promotions, everybody would be promoted. It would be just be a dumping ground. It becomes the worst of human nature in a group, okay? That's why the owners and moderators have to be so careful about keeping the discussion on point and preventing promotions, except maybe in one weekly thread or whatever like that. So number two, do you have the time and energy to really moderate a group? If you've ever had a group, you know what I'm talking about. You don't, I mean, uh, unless like you're just on Facebook all the time, you, you okay, <clears throat> even if you have the time and the energy to moderate a Facebook group, why don't you take the same time and energy to build up your Facebook fan base? I, I don't, I honestly don't get it. I think people are doing Facebook groups because they don't understand Facebook advertising. They don't get it. I mean, the same amount of time spent in a Facebook group, I mean, sorry, moderating. Now, I, I think it is actually a, a good strategy to use somebody else's Facebook group. If somebody else, pardon my language, is foolish enough to have a free Facebook group, <laughs> go ahead and use theirs, right? Hang out in there you know, participate and make friends there and maybe you'll get some clients. It's a, it's a real strategy, okay? But to be an owner and moderator of your own Facebook group, it's foolish, okay? The time and energy can be spent, again, in somebody else's Facebook group, you'll get clients that way, or number two, building up your own Facebook business page, fan page, and promoting your own things there. It is totally, again, purity of intentions in marketing. When you have a Facebook fan page and business page, your fans expect you to sell things there, to promote your content there. It is, it is straightforward. It is pure in intentions rather than the group going, I'm trying to create a community here, but secretly I'm trying to promote my stuff. I just hope you don't know that I'm promoting it too much. Come on, come on, okay? Let's, let's get pure in our intentions, but not even purity. I'm just talking pragmatic, pragmatically. It's foolish to moderate a Facebook group. Just do Facebook business page, participate in someone else's Facebook group, and do Facebook ads for your business page. Done. Um, uh, I think that's pretty much all I want to say. I want to keep this video not, not, not too long. Um, by the way, in case you're wondering, I <clears throat> got back from vacation last week, so I didn't have time to make my outdoor dog walk videos. So this week, my videos are going to be Facebook Lives. And I actually might just start doing Facebook Lives going forward because having to, you know, schedule with my wife to go out for the dog walk, to make my videos, sometimes windy, all that stuff. I, I'm just going to start testing doing more Facebook Lives going forward. You can let me know what you think. Uh, do you prefer my dog walk videos or these videos? Um, the benefit of these videos is I've already written a blog post. I did that earlier today. So I maybe the content's a little bit more focused. Um, you don't have the benefit of nature, though, um, except you have the benefit of my See, get my get my right, get my correct thumb up. That's my cat mango in the picture, and that's well, that's a that's a 
cute picture of a dog on a skateboard. Uh, Buddy, my dog, used to hate skateboards, you know, barking, barking whenever they go by. So it's funny that we actually found a picture of a dog on a skateboard. Uh, it's a very cute picture. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope this is helpful. I hope this uh, will inspire you to finally drop that Facebook group that you've been trying to build. <laughs> like I said, I, I did the same thing and I finally stopped it too. Um, and, and spend your time and energy building your Facebook business page and fan page. Now, I have to say one thing, though. If you have a paid membership, a Facebook group makes sense. So, you know, my friend Paul Zelizer, uh, he had used to have a free Facebook group called Awarepreneurs. And now he has a paid Facebook group called Awarepreneurs, right? Um, and that makes sense. Now, for me, I have a group coaching program where people pay $111 a month. It's really my clients. And I have a Facebook group for that. And that, that makes sense because, you know, if it's part of your business and you're paid for it, then, then you can make the time and energy to manage a group. And there's certain expectations because it's a service. So that makes sense. But as a free Facebook group, I just don't get it. Not, not for business purposes. Again, hobby for just for fun, for family, for friends, great. But as a business strategy, no, no. It's, it's not the smartest use of your business strategy and time. Okay, so I hope that helps, and any questions, just make a comment there, and um, I wish you the most joyfully productive use of your time and energy to build your authentic business. Take care. Be well.